The next kind of challenge is the availability challenge, um, which is the link is included just above the availability data on the right hand side of your screen. So once you click here, the form is similar to a location challenge with a couple extra steps. First, again, you want to make sure that you're challenging at the correct location. And then down below, you're going to select the provider that you are submitting a challenge against. So in this situation, we're going to pretend we're submitting a challenge against Comcast. And once you do that, you can scroll down and they give you an option here, with these two buttons. Um, so this is the type, um, this is a situation where you can, with the first option, send a challenge to the provider. And this is meaning that some information that the provider has displayed in this map, you are deciding is incorrect. You are suggesting is incorrect and you're challenging it. So something about the technology not being available, um, the speed not being available, um, and I'll get further into the other details later. Um, the second option is a situation where you may be submitting information about the provider that is not a challenge to information in this map. So an example of that would be if you've taken a speed test that does not um, and the speed does not uh, reach the the advertised speed in this map, or it does not you know, the speed test um, does not match the speed that uh, of the plan that you're paying for. Um, those are not reasons um, valid reasons for a challenge in this situation, and so you would s select the second button. Likewise, if you have um, information about billing, um, that would be another reason to select the second option. So these, um, anytime you select the second option, this is sending it to the FCC and it is considered more in the form of a complaint. Um, and so if we select the first option, again, you fill in your name and email, and then here you're going to select your reason for a challenge. So with availability challenges, these are based on only what a provider is displaying in this map um, at your location. And so um, in situations, if you have put in a request for service from this provider, in this case, we're saying we put in a request for service from Comcast. If Comcast fails to provide or fails to schedule a service installation within 10 business days of us requesting it, then that is a reason to file a challenge. If they do not install the service at that at a, an agreed upon time, that's a reason for a challenge. If the provider, if Comcast um, comes back to you um, and tells you that it's going to cost $5,000 actually to connect to your home because you live so far away from the main road. That is a reason for a challenge because um, anything that they claim to be able to provide service to in this map um, should be able to be connected um, within a standard installation period, which is considered to be 10 days. Um, if the provider, if Comcast require, uh, denies a request for service, um, or they tell you the technology or speed reported in this map are not available at your location. Um, those are reasons for a challenge. And now um, at the very bottom, the last um, reason, it says the actual speed of this service does not match its advertised speed. This is not actually a reason for a challenge. Um, you can select this option, um, but it will not be filed as a challenge. Um, because this is a map of availability and not um, network performance. And down below, you're going to describe your experience. And here again, um, it is optional to provide any kind of supporting documentation. However, I would suggest if you have any kind of emails or flyers, um, screenshots of communication, anything like that that you can share here that will support your challenge um, against the provider, this is the best place to do that um, and will help or should help your um, challenge proceed. And then again, 
certify that you're being truthful in this mission and submit. Now, um, one nice feature of this map is that once um, you've submitted a location challenge, a missing location or availability challenge, you can see those almost, I believe, me immediately in the map. And so you can see there's already been a challenge filed um, over the Seward Montessori School. And if we scroll down on the right hand side a little bit, you can see we've got a few new colored points added to our map. So we have location challenges in blue, missing locations in purple, and availability challenges in yellow. <clears throat> If we click on the location here, you can see that this challenge was submitted on November 8th as an incorrect location building type.